Welcome back to the Our Wednesday Tea Time. We're asking you, is your man miserable moaning and a bit of a hypochondriac who takes to his bed at the slightest cough or sniffle? Well, mm -hmm. give him some sympathy, please, because new research by scientists at Cambridge University proves that men have weaker immune systems so suffer oh. more from illness than women. Oh. Now, it's confirmed John oh, in Glasgow. So. John in Glasgow says, man flu does exist. I was ill for 10 days. I stayed in bed, had limbs and other stuff. Uh, it really was bad. You do feel really ill. So there I you don't go. think it's it really was, proof. John. I'm not really believing that. Uh, you guys have been getting in touch via Facebook, text message, email, all sorts. Anne Hunter says, as the saying goes, men get the flu, children get the cold, and women, well, they just get, get on, on with, with it. it. That's yeah, what they're saying. Well, uh, we're never going to hear the end of it, are we? So what do you think? Is it time for us to give men a break? Absolutely not. Or are you uh, suspicious that the research seems to have been done by all male scientists. Mm. You can email the out at scv.tv, you can text 81441, or if you want to call us and tell us what a load of old rubbish man flu is, you can do so. The number's 0800 959 6161. <coughs> Now, more than anyone in our office, I love coffee, he but does. not just any coffee. It's got to be proper yeah. coffee. I make it all the time. Sometimes, though, I don't want to go out and pay a fortune you for it. You make it all the time. I want it. Well, I, yeah. Who else does? You never make it. Now, no, we'll do this it. later. I want to do a good coffee at home as well. So, how do you make the perfect coffee in your own kitchen? Uma Ashraf from iCafe is here to show us how. Thanks for coming in today. Hello. We do love our good coffee, don't we? There's Starbucks, there's Cafe Nero, there's Costa. So, when we go out, we all expect great coffee. But at home, we're still putting granules and hot water. Surely there's a way of making good coffee at home. Well, times have changed, Stephen, and there are many ways we can do that. The, the most common one is a French presser, or what you would call a cafetiere. So I think I'll start off with this one, very, very basic. That's what we use in the office. That's yeah. what you use in the office, right. I'm going to do something different here. What I'm going to do is, you're used to putting boiling water in this, mm -hmm. and gives gives you black coffee. What we'll do is, we'll do it with hot milk, right? Oh. So what that will do is, that will give you a, a version of flat white. Okay, so quickly do that. All it takes is you put in that seven grams of coffee, you've put that in there. Uh -huh. I'm going to put in some boiling milk that we prepared earlier. It's very fancy. Umar, is it really important to measure the coffee when it's going in? Should I not be talking to you right now? Let's get bored. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think, well, when it comes to coffee, obviously we should limit our coffee to uh, some say about 16 grams of coffee, uh, some say about 30 grams of coffee a day. A day. How many cups so, is that? How many cups is that? Uh, I've had too many today. The average cup has about 14 grams of coffee. So maybe three or four is fine, right? Okay. So uh, depending on whether you want to sleep at night or not, maybe you want to limit your co uh, how many cups you have. So we're going to let it brew, right? Okay. okay. Look at that, it looks interesting So already. you can see the colour changing that. already. What a great so idea. important thing with this uh, for viewers at home is that this is tightened and it's in in the right position. You don't want the, the ground coffee to actually escape and come to the upper part because it will then come and uh, get into your cup of coffee. Okay, we'll let that brew and we'll come back to that a yeah. little bit later. The second one is this one here, what we did uh, earlier. It's a great little machine and um, uh, again in an environment where you want the quietness. Um, so I'll, I'll explore this one first. Uh, that's the one we did earlier. It's very, very easy. All you do is, this is our coffee capsule here. Mm -hmm. These are very popular at the moment, aren't they? These George Clooney is. likes these. Well, if it's good yeah. enough for George, you know. So you've got 16. I mean, this machine comes with 16 different blends, depending on your mood. So I'm going to put one of these in. What's okay. your mood, Michelle? At the moment, well, I did take a sip of that beer in the break, so it's quite merry. Frisky. There you go. There so we press go. off a button, OK, and it's going to do a perfect espresso look, for us wow. and look wow. at that crema now i'm not really a coffee drinker remember, but i'm willing to be converted today i don't really drink an awful lot of caffeine but i'm going to give this espresso a wee try that looks lovely well, there you go. It, let's that try looks, that, that see what great. you think and that is just brilliant this all that here. from that little capsule so amazing look at that so we're going to michelle is it am i going to drink it black is that what you do yeah why not really is that what there everybody else go, does Michelle. have a taste and tell us what you think maybe quite hot but do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's move on to the next one then. So what the else next, have we got here? Oh, the next one there is if you want to do a little bit of theatre, right? This is the uh, this is the machine you'll most commonly find uh, uh, in a commercial uh, uh, version in, like, say, your high street uh, shops. This is a milk frother there, and this is that sound that you hear in this coffee shops. This is what you shops. see all the time, this isn't is it? This is what you really see good. all the time. So what we are going to do is, I've already done um, the espresso there. I'm going to frost some milk, and this will do a lovely cappuccino. Okay. So if you want that little bit of theatre in your kitchen or in the house, this is the one to go. 
It can be a barista at home. How about that? And then charge your wife two pounds fifty for it. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's great. Oh, Mrs. Jardine is such a lucky woman. I'll have a frappa mochaccino, please. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> But they, these are great, aren't they? Because when you know, and because I don't drink caffeine, when folk come to my house, I tend just to get the granules. I even mistakenly did a gravy at one point and you get someone drink that. I did. It was a <laughs> oh, mistake. Fine. I gave someone a cup of gravy. They, they both look the same in the, the uh, tubs. Yeah, don't come to my house for coffee. Not not recommended. But that looks nice. It I looks mean, even beautiful. Even sitting in the kitchen, it's, it's a nice thing to look at, there isn't you it? Oh yes. I mean, uh, if we if we look at this here, I mean. If you're doing that uh, at home and your friend's watching, you're creating that little bit of theatre and you've got that sort of ritual. Uh, and if, uh, if you're interested in having that ritual and that's important to you, then I think that's a machine or one of the options that you have. Or showing off in front of your friends, that's so important. So there you go, that's that milk up to the temperature. Great. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. And then what we'll do is we'll just pour that in and make a lovely cappuccino. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, wow. look at that. That's a lovely cappuccino there. Well, why do you got the sugar at the end there? Is that to get the, the pattern on the top? That's to get the pattern on top, yeah. absolutely. And you'll see that in lattice Gorgeous. and stuff. Right, so this is the one I was demonstrating earlier. I'm going to yep. come back to that. What I did there was I pressed that button. That does absolutely everything for you. You didn't even hear that running, no. right? It's great for an, uh, an office environment where you can't do all of that next to your papers and everything. You have that there, right? All we need to now do is... Oh, so you got the flask. So this one oh. also heats the milk up for you this too. I'm loving that one. Heated that milk wow. up for you, and there you go. Within the space of two minutes, we've made coffees in two different ways. That is sensational. Gorgeous. I'm going to give this one a try. Try that coffee. See, so you get the one with the milk in it, yeah. and I get the straight up shot. <laughs> lovely. That is a beautiful cup of coffee. That's oh, lovely. Right. So that's really that. Nice. Right. The third option that we have is the traditional one. This is called a mocha pot. Very, very easy um, uh, to use, but we need a stove for this. This is very uh, popular in caravan holidays. So what people will do is take it in their caravan, put it onto the stove, and it give, gives you a, what I would call in Italian terms a cafe, which is uh, like an espresso. Okay. The steam does the magic. So what you'll do is you'll pour water in there, cold okay. water in there. You'll put that in. I've already put the, the ground coffee in. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're just going to... Put it all together, okay. Bang it on the stove. There we go. Put okay. it onto the stove, low heat. S gives uh, it allows the oils to come up. Fantastic. And they end up here. Great. 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 We're just about time, Umar. So let's just plunge here with our old cafetiere and see. Well, watch this, folks. Here there we go. There we go. Wow. Look at that. So there we go. So we've got and instantly. It, it is a little bit tricky because we are using milk instead of your hot just water. Your water. So. Right, let's try this. Okay. Instantly, you've got Very a flat quickly. white coffee. Right, Stephen, I'm going to let you try that. Umar, thank you so much. You have Can certainly uh, given us lots of different this. options thank how you, to have Umar. our coffee. Thank you very Very're much. Welcome. All right, you guys have been getting in touch all day about the uh, nonsense that is man oh, flu, let's be honest. That's the best. Uh, yeah, Jean from Kilmarnock says, men are just pathetic. If they have a cut in their finger, they'd like you to believe it's a near amputation. Jean, I, think, I don't think that's an exaggeration. What have you got there, Stephen? Uh, Margaret called to say, men get the flu, boys get the cold, women get on. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, Hugh emailed, women spend a fortune on buying expensive clothes for themselves, but only get jeans and T-shirts for men. That's why they get on. That's Ooh. a whole other thing we're opening up there. I've got uh, Gail from Dundee rang in to say, when men are ill, they stay in bed forever and never get out. Alistair from Edinburgh rang in to say, I've never suffered from man flu in my life. I've always had genuine illnesses. Yeah. And uh, Margaret from Coatbridge says, all men don't have a good pain threshold. That's why God chose women to give birth. Thank you, Margaret. All right, still to come tonight, fashion expert Tommy McCune shows us how to get the look of the season. We'll see you after the break. Cheers. Cheers.